Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to look at the person that you're connecting with. What are they thinking or feeling about the connection? What would they tell you if they had the chance? And what's going on between you both? So, all right, Cancer. Let's see, what is your person currently doing or thinking right now? What are their current energies? Spirit, current energies for the person that cancer is thinking about at this time what are the current energies for the person that cancer is dealing with current energies what are the current energies for the person that cancer is whoa that was way too many current energies for the person that cancer is dealing with spirit what messages can you give us Ooh. Your energies for the person that cancer is dealing with. Ooh, interesting. We got soulmates. Love that card. Actually, I'm gonna put that here. We got blessed. Okay, so I feel like spiritual spirit spiritual spirit is involved here in some way. Not for you. Wow, I was not expecting that. <sighs> So this is your person's current energies. Now, roles can be reversed, so feel free to flip them if they resonate more. Um, but what I'm seeing here is someone is realizing that something they thought was for them is not for them. I think spirit is involved here in guiding them into this realization. I think it has to do with either a soulmate connection or they want to be in a soulmate connection. Something was not for them and they're realizing that, but this is what they want. Or again, they could be in a, with a, soul, a, a, a soulmate right now, but it doesn't mean that that soulmate is for them, you know? We'll see. So let's see. How does this person view you or this connection, Cancer? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to say a special thank you to those of you who take the time out of your day to write me such nice, positive comments. They really help me a lot and I read them all and I, even if I cannot respond, I do see them. So thank you so much. All right, Cancer. What does this person think about Cancer or this connection spirit? What does this person think about cancer or this connection? How do they view cancer or this connection? How does this person view cancer or this connection spirit? Ooh, snake. So there's a lot of potential here, but time is of the essence. Does this person view this connection or cancer? How does this person view this connection or cancer? Ooh, octopus. Interesting. There's an attachment here, almost an unhealthy attachment with the octopus. What else can you tell me about how this person feels or views cancer? Bat. Wow. Okay, I'm going to look at mouse at the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna look at uh, bat and octopus real quick to make sure that I'm sharing everything that I need to share. With bat, this is all about like new beginnings. So let's see. Letting go, death leading to rebirth. Whew. This, the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door with the bat. So, hmm, let me see. Octopus reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. Uh, Well-intended but messy relationships. Begin to establish healthy boundaries, be patient and firm. It may be a very old habit to change. 
So the octopus is interested, engaged, and intelligent, but when out of balance is needy, clingy, or lacks courage. Wow, Cancer, I'm getting so many messages here. I feel like there was an ending between you two at some point, or this person is ending something to be with you. This person's, someone closed the door in this connection at some point. That's one storyline. The other storyline is someone's actually ending a connection they're in right now. Because time is of the essence and they see a potential with you. So let's get, let's get deeper into this. What would this person tell you if they had the chance? What would this person tell Cancer if they had the chance? What would this person tell Cancer if they had the chance? What would this person tell Cancer if they could right now? I screwed up. Okay. What else? What else would this person tell Cancer? I want a second chance. My goodness. I keep getting these readings. <laughs> Restoring balance. Okay, so yes, this person wants to reconnect with you. But something was not for them or it wasn't the right time. There was potential here, but timing was an, a factor possibly for some of you. For others of you, this person is in, a, in, in is closing a door somewhere to restore balance. They want a second chance. They screwed up. Bottom of the deck, I'm ready to commit. Someone wasn't ready to commit at some point is what I'm getting. So let's see. What's going on in your connection here? Spirit, what's going on in this connection? between Cancer and the person they are in a connection with or the person they're thinking about at this time. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection, Spirit? The Hierophant. This person could be in a commitment marriage possibly long-term commitment or this is what they want you could be dealing with a taurus what's going on with this connection now remember roles can be reversed there's an ace of cups upright roles can be reversed so feel free to flip it as it resonates and time is fluid so whatever i talk about today it could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the future okay whoa Wheel of Fortune reversed. Well, that's not good. Again with the timing. I'm getting that timing is important. Five of Pentacles. There could be um, no communication at this point. Very little communication between you. Someone's been shut out in some way or feels shut out. Give me one more, please. What's the current? Oh my gosh. The Magician Reverse. I'm just picking it up how I saw it on the ground. Bottom of the deck. Wow, the Empress. Wow. Got some serious Major Arcanas here. Someone's unable to manifest something or they are feeling a little powerless right now. One of you has left the other behind in some way. There's emotional distance here. It's what I feel. Something here again with the Wheel of Fortune. Bad timing. Bad luck. I am going to clarify all of these. But this is what I'm seeing right now. Someone's in some sort of commitment here. Or has been seeking spiritual guidance, wisdom from someone older. Um, could be a Taurus you're dealing with. 
Someone wants new love. Like, I, I see that. Someone wants new love. Someone wants to create something here with the Empress. Help me clarify these energies for Cancer, please, Spirit. Nope, she got one that's reversed. Help me clarify these energies, please, for Cancer. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. See, look at this. Three of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like someone here wants to heal a painful situation and make a new offer. They want commitment. Or this is an end of a third party situation. Someone has made a choice and they're going to offer their commitment to someone. Bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this higher font. Why do I keep dropping the cards? I just don't get it. So this is how they fell. The world and Nine of Swords. Someone here is feeling possibly guilty over pain. Um, they could be feeling anxious about making this offer about starting this new chapter with the world. A new cycle for this person. Bottom of the deck, three of cups reversed. I really am thinking this was a third party situation or is. Tell me about this ace of cups, please, for cancer. Okay. Four of cups reversed. There's renewed interest here. Someone that wasn't interested in something is suddenly interested in something. Then we got the Knight of Swords. Someone's wanting to rush in to make this offer here. Anything else for this Ace of Cups for Cancer? Eight of Wands and Empress reversed. Someone wants to communicate. With Empress reversed, this is someone that's unable to create. Again, this, this feeling of this Magician reversed. Um... I'm really getting the sense, the energy that I'm getting is someone that wants to begin something and is stuck, delayed. The Empress reversed, um, to me, is also a jilted lover, um, like, a, like a wife, you know, that kind of energy. Doesn't have to be a female, but that's the energy that I get from the Empress reversed because she's usually in a very long-term commitment. But reversed, it's like she's smothering, she's... You know, she's not a good partner. Also, she's unable to manifest. So I'm, again, I'm getting the sense that someone here was unable to manifest something at some point. And it's like, once they're able to, it's like once they get the green light, it's like, go. Oh, of course, I dropped a bunch of my cards. I just don't know why. Why even bother leaving them on the table? <laughs> I'm just going to drop them all. Oops. Guys, are you okay? Okay. Oh, man. I don't know what's happening today. I wanted to film and like nothing. <laughs> Everything's a mess. Okay, guys, bear with me. I just have one more card to pick up here. You can't pick it up. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. What was I saying? <laughs> Can you guys see everything? Okay. So let's look at this Wheel of Fortune reverse. What happened here? For Cancer Spirit. I love this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Three of Wands. Hmm waiting knight of pentacles the slowest night someone's waiting for this for this knight of pentacles to make an offer but it just wasn't the right time 
There's been a, an injustice here with justice reverse. This could also be someone going through some sort of divorce or some sort of legal situation that did not pan out in their favor here. It caused delays. And so someone has been waiting and waiting. But this knight doesn't, you know, no matter how long it takes, he makes it to his destination. Now I have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be a third party here that's really upset. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Hmm. Tell me more. Thank you. Page of Wands. One more for this Five of Pentacles, please. Five of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords reversed. My goodness. So what I'm getting here is someone Someone didn't win with this Five of Swords. Something happened here where someone didn't win. Or someone's looking, you know, using their intuition to look back on something that ended badly here with the Five of Swords reverse. But this is something, it's like overcoming Five of Swords energy. I think their intuition is guiding them to overcome a situation that wasn't in their favor. And it's almost like their intuition is telling them to try something new, to go after something new here, to not give up. I feel like this Five of Pentacles could be someone who's insecure. Possibly thinking that they can never come back out of the cold. But then I have the Seven of Swords in reverse here with the Ten of Wands. So I'm getting that there was a burden this person was carrying and a secret got out. Something was revealed. It's like someone tried to take advantage of this person and it didn't work out. Take that as it resonates. Whoever this is that's feeling shut out, um, the, it's possibly this third party that they're in um, because I see justice in reverse here. So something was unfair to this person who wants to make an offer. But they didn't win. They got found out instead. And it's... It's leading this person to take a leap of faith here with the Page of Wands and Knight of Pentacles and go after something here. Tell me about the Magician reversed. Tell me about the Magician reversed, please. The Moon reversed, yes, reveals. There, something has come to light here. Someone seeing something for what it truly is. I mean, or either that or they were refusing to see something for what it truly was. And I feel like it cost them something because they're not able to manifest something now. You know, it's like almost that energy of like, it's too late. Um, you you refuse to look at something for what it was. Um, it could also be that something again is being revealed. Like that Seven of Swords reverse. Let's see, what else can we get? Oh, that's way too many. What else can we get for this Magician Reverse, please? Magician Upright, Knight of Cups Reverse. Yikes. Someone here at some point... I'm getting a few things. Because the Knight of Cups Reverse is someone who tells you whatever he needs to tell you, he or she, to... to almost like to to win you over and then they like run away <laughs> it's not it, it's just words it's just words to keep you engaged right they don't actually have good intentions this knight of cups reverse and then we got the magician upright so i'm getting here someone here could have been manipulating a situation and 
someone couldn't see that at some point with the moon reversed. Wow, I'm getting several things. There's a three of cups reversed again. Someone here is manifesting something now. It's almost like this, this that happened here with the Knight of Cups reverse, the Moon reverse, and the Magician reverse. It's like someone was trying to get away with something here and it didn't work out. And now someone's manifesting. What are they manifesting? Tell me more about this Magician. And again, this could be you or the person you are dealing with. I really ha think it has to do with a third party here. Tell me more about this magician. Two of swords reverse. Anything else for this magician? And the star. So because I got these two cards with the magician, I'm getting that someone finally has made a choice to go after their wish. Someone has healed here from whatever happened. Now, two of swords reverse could be someone that refuses to make a choice, but because there's someone, because this is clarifying the magician and I got the star upright, I'm getting that somebody here has made a choice. This person did not lose faith, lose hope with the star. It's like whatever happened to this person, um, whatever injustice happened, they're going to overcome it. That's what I'm getting. I think their intuition is also guiding them in this. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra. What other signs do I have here? A Taurus. A water sign, a Pisces. But I have all the signs on the board. Tell me more about this Magician Upright. I just want to get one more card. Tell me more about this Magician Upright, please. Spirit, one more card for Cancer. Six of Wands reversed. Interesting. You know what I'm getting? Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting that this person's choice is not going to win them any friends or... It's like people are not going to understand or applaud this choice this person's making. Like there's going to be people that are going to, because six of wands is recognition, right? But up um, in success, right? This is, this is, this is um, clarifying the magician. I feel like whatever they're trying to manifest, they're going to get opposition about it or people that are going to tell them it's not a good idea or that's not going to work. Or, or it's almost like this person doesn't care how they seem to other people. They've really been thinking about this with the Four of Swords. Healing from whatever situation's been going on. So this is a very specific reading. It's not going to be for everyone. But I do feel like if this is a third party situation, which I believe it is for a lot of you, this person is ending something with someone they want a second chance. They want to offer love. There have been delays. There possibly was not good timing at some point. They're manifesting something new. They don't care who agrees. Possibly they're going to communicate in some way. Because I have the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. And I also have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a serious offer of commitment here that this person is wanting to... And the Eight of Wands. Wanting to communicate here they've made a choice there's a renewed interest here and no matter how unfair whatever situation this person's in that's been unfair or unjust or something wasn't right at some point there's going to be an overcoming of that so take that as it resonates for others of you if this is not a third party situation then there was something that fractured your connection at some point 
and someone screwed up, they want a second chance, and they're still overcoming whatever happened between you two, or they, or that's that's a, a blockage or a challenge here. But they want to get to you. They want to communicate. I have three cards here, actually four, I think, of communication. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. So you could definitely be, and Knight of Pentacles, you could definitely be expecting some sort of communication from this person. Now it's going to come like out of blue. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I'm reading for a lot of people and it's difficult to kind of like try to keep the messages simple. So um, I hope that you got something from this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Leave me a comment if it did. I love hearing from you. Thank you again to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Um, please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy my readings and I'll see you in another video. Take care.